headed to the pool to see if I am able to scuba dive with my prosthetics in a dry suit. So that should be fun. I tried scuba diving a few months ago in Calgary with just a bathing suit and it went all right, but the dry suit will be a whole new whole new adventure, so let's hope it goes well. And why do you need a dry suit? It's freaking cold up here in Canada. We're Tyler and Kayleen. We've been living aboard our 40-year-old sailboat, Footloose. We've been working hard to get the boat and ourselves ready for a trip of a lifetime. We're leaving Canada behind this year, but we're bringing the adventure with us. Join us as we sail, scuba, surf, and skydive our way south. Don't forget to subscribe. The challenging part about swimming with prosthetics is that Tyler's ankles don't bend. Tyler and Greg messed around with some fins, trying to find the best way for Tyler to swim underwater. Ideally, Tyler would have special feet that would allow his ankles to bend for swimming, but it's just a bit above budget right now. First, he tried freediver fins, hoping that the extra length would give him some more leverage. It wasn't working that well, so he switched using the ski straps and strapped them back in with Greg's shorter fins. It didn't take long before Tyler was moving around the pool like an old pro. It's easy to come up with excuses for things, and for Tyler it's no different. But because we spend so much time on the water, Tyler's not going to let that stop him from trying new things too. Tyler's next step of getting his paddy was completing the ocean dives. You'll see that later in this episode. Hello everyone! It is a little bit different scenery here today. I'm obviously not on Footloose, but I am doing projects for Footloose. and. I am in Tyler and I's a new house, so we just bought a house a couple months ago that we plan on renting out when we're sailing down to Mexico, but for the meantime we're taking a break from living aboard, which is going to be really nice for the winter. I have to be on board for stormy weather, which is going to be a pretty nice change as I've been living aboard for like four or five years now. Anyways. The nice thing about having a house is having space to do some projects, so that brings us here today. Uh, Total Bolt hooked me up with a whole bunch of epoxy, and one of my projects I'm doing is epoxying all the countertops and making a bit of a marble effect on the old dingy laminate that is pretty beat up so, since it's a 40 year old boat. And this seemed like a pretty fun project to do that, so I'm excited to get started on that finally. I've been planning this project for a couple months now. I'm also redoing all of the teak trims that's around the countertops. They were all starting to pull loose and weren't very good handles. When you're in rough seas, you really want to be able to trust all the handles around the boat, and these were starting to pull right out. Um, and they're pretty beat up as well, so Tyler and I have been working on that about to add some varnish. It's like a mini galley remodel. I've never used any of the Total Boat stuff before, so I'm excited to give it a try. So it's super stormy out today. It is nearing the end of October, which fall is usually pretty rainy, but this fall has been crazy stormy, and kind of our winter season has started a little bit earlier. So it's actually the largest storm in recorded history on the Pacific Northwest now. It's called, I believe, a super bomb or um, super bomb cyclone that's happening off the west coast of Vancouver Island. And it is absolutely pouring out there. And luckily, I ended up getting um, the barnacle installed. For those of you who don't know what a barnacle is, my friend Brandon actually um, invented it few years back out of Victoria for his boat and it's a device that you hook up on your boat and it has its own satellite network that it connects to and then you can access your boat anywhere um, from your phone which because we're living 
not on the boat this winter and I'm away at camp doing camp shifts a lot Tyler's away a lot training and competing I figured that it was gonna be really good to have this winter so we can check on photos and know what's happening there so I'm just gonna show you guys um, what that looks like on the app I um, just got it hooked up yesterday so I'm pretty excited about it and you can I'm get different sort of things hooked up to it um, but right now I have pretty basic as I was in a bit of a rush yesterday but eventually I'll have a few more things first of all it gives you the location so if we were at anchor we could set a geofence and you could know exactly if your boat is dragging anchor or if it's swinging at anchor it shows you a little map and then it has graphs so right now I hooked up the main house batteries um, I'll be hooking up the start battery eventually as well how much you're healing um, so I believe we're at 1.1 degree right now so the winds picking up it's gusting I believe like 30 knots right now and it's supposed to increase up to 50 this evening uh, what else humidity so it is slowly decreasing it did just start absolutely pouring though and I know I have a leak in the aft cabin so I'm curious to see how that changes throughout the day as well and then impact so it actually showed that we did have a bit of an impact but I'm guessing we did slam against the dock a little bit down there yeah so that's the barnacle and I'm really excited to let you know how that goes on board so far I'm pretty happy with it and it was a pretty easy install and if you are interested in Barnacle, let me know and I can get you a code um, to get a little bit of a discount off one for yourself or for your boat. But uh, otherwise, back to epoxy work. I just thought that was interesting as I'm hearing the wind blow out there and I'm wondering how Footloose is doing. Okay, I'm here on Footloose. It's a bit of a stormy day, so not really ideal for this project. But I'm about to do the first flood coat on the countertops. I went ahead and prepped them all, and now it's time to get the epoxy out and start mixing. I'm pretty nervous for this because I learned that <laughs> Even when you try and be consistent, it's really easy to not get the right textures every single time um, of the marble effect. And so I really should have just done the lids of the counters at the same time as the rest of the counters. Um, but you live and you learn. And I think it's gonna look good no matter what. So let's do this. Okay, I'm starting to get a little dizzy in here. I need to leave the boat. Pretty happy with it. Hopefully I can get all the tape up okay. I don't think I got epoxy anywhere. I shouldn't, so that's good. <laughs> okay, I just finished doing the marbling on the counters. And I have to say that's like one of the most stressful things I've done. And the more I play with it, the more I don't like the marbling effect that I did and so I finally am just like I'm leaving it and I think it's gonna look good no matter what I'm like decently happy with it but it's not at all what I originally wanted to do <laughs> I started out with too big of um, streaks but I'm pretty happy with the bathroom one and I'll do a top coat again and now it's time to leave. I've been scheduled to go away for work for a few days. So I thought this was a good time to do this. Um, so this can now sit and cure and set while I'm gone for a few days. So, oh, I'm already getting dizzy without my mask on. Bye. Going scuba diving with Ocean Picks and never done this before. It's my first dive in the ocean. Went to the pool with Greg a couple weeks ago and Super nervous, super excited, uh, something new, something different. Don't worry, you've got Captain Roger with you. Just <laughs> Roger's fine. Roger's cousin's under control. Greg in action. I like the photo, photo bump. It was now time to put Tyler's skills to the test. 
and we were so fortunate to go out with Ocean Fix. They had just got a new vessel, the Ocean Guardian, and it had a hydraulic ramp on it, which was perfect for Tyler getting in and out of the water. Tyler ended up cutting an old pair of fins and ski strapping them on to make them work. Tyler's final thoughts on scuba diving? I can definitely see us diving a lot from Footloose in the future. Maybe I can justify buying a compressor after all. It has been insanely cold for Vancouver Island. What was it, minus four today? Which, minus 20. Uh, yeah, <laughs> supposed to be get really cold this week. And I've never had the boat in that cold of temperatures. There's icicles coming off the boats here. And I am so glad that we have a winter cover um, this year. Caving in. Yeah, that the snow is caving in. Oh, uh, let's check it out. Push it off by the barbecue. Oh, a bunch just fell. Watch it getting hooked on the rail there. <laughs> okay, I've just turned the heaters up. Basically max the amperage of the heat. It's currently nine degrees inside the boat with two heaters on, and it's supposed to get at least six degrees colder this week. So I wanna make sure that it stays nice and toasty. I've opened up the compartment to the hot water tank, so, and opened up the faucet. The water pump's already off, but if something does blow that way, it can have a point of exit. It's actually pretty warm in here, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I think the winter cover actually helps keep it warmer than without it as well. So um, I'm off to work for a few more days, but Ty will be around to check on it. We really want to make sure that the weight stays off the bimini, because if it does warm up, all that snow is going to get really heavy. Keep it cleared off. That's our winter update. Okay, we're back at the boat a couple days later and it snowed again and it's gotten even colder. I think the max is minus 11. It gets a little bit warmer today, minus six. But uh, we're here to check on it, make sure she's still good and maybe even do some work because we've been kind of neglecting her. Happy 2022. There's ice everywhere, snow, snow, and now it's blowing. It's supposed to blow up to 50 knots today. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> but it's moments like this which makes me even more excited to sail to Mexico. This year, we can finally sail. We're sailing to Mexico this year. Can't wait. It's been pretty cold this winter. We've had a few really good cold snaps and I've been running the heaters on Footloose. I didn't realize this, or maybe I did and I forgot, but 
this marina only has a 20 amp service and I think what was happening is that I was actually running the heaters right up to the max 20 amps and putting a big load on our solar power. I've been working on the la in the lazarette the last few weeks on some projects in there and I happened to look over at where our shore power connects, the backside, and noticed a bit of a burn mark coming up from it. I put my hand to touch it and sure enough it was really hot to the point where I was worried about our boat starting to burn down. I don't know how old these shore power plugs are, but old enough to know that they aren't the smart plugs and I know that smart plugs isn't exactly like the be end and all they still can um, overheat but they are supposedly 20 times more contact and I, after doing some research I decided that it was worth um, a putting the heat a little bit less in the boat not maxing out our 20 amps as well as purchasing a smart plug so it just came in the mail and I'm back here on Footloose today to replace that as we're about to get another cold snap from the northwest wind and a high pressure system. Let's get installing that today so that I can run a little bit more heat without having to worry about our boat burning down. Okay, I have unplugged the shore power. There's no more light. I'm not gonna electrocute myself. And I am gonna do this um, conversion. It sucks. I kind of wish we had just done this from the beginning. There's a lot of times that we try and save money, but then we end up redoing it a couple of years later anyway. So, um, that's okay. You can't change everything on the boat. Well, that said it would take minutes of installation and it's been about, um, I think just under two hours. But the slowest part was actually getting rid of the old install and making the hole a little bit more square for the smart plug to fit in on the side of the boat. But I am ready to turn saw now. Um, one thing I was a little bit worried about is that it's supposed to be white, black, green for AC power, and it was white, green, red. And I think, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I set it up right, but I'm gonna turn it on now and keep a really close eye and watch it for a bit and see what happens. We have power and I'm just keeping my eye on it, we'll let it run for a bit and check the temperature and see how it does. So as we are leaving for a night and I want to make sure that I can sleep tonight. However, at least I have the barnacle and I can check on it tonight when we're at our hotel in Victoria and make sure that um, it is, there's still AC power hooked up and the boat is at a decent temperature as it is supposed to go below freezing tonight. 